Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some very interesting news coming out over here where it seems like PlayStation and PlayStation users actually now just got a brand new feature that got snuck on in. Now, it's not officially as of yet, but it has been data mined, and now we're seeing pictures, images, and all this stuff. And I'm going to also start off with the brand new program as well that actually has a little more information to get to go and show you guys because it's all related towards what actually got leaked. So it's kind of cool that PlayStation users actually might get a little extra bonus stuff too as well. We also saw quite a few different random memes along with the two on top of that. And after that, we have a little bit more random various news to go and cover for some game leaks and some other big things too as well regards to God of War. So a lot of cool stuff to go cover throughout this video. So make sure you guys are subscribed. We have the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway announced as of yesterday with the Twitter link down below. So enter in with that one. Same with the Twitch stream too as well down for that. We also do have the Target links, Amazon links, and all the usual solid stuff down below. And let's now talk about some secret things that PlayStation's trying to go and sneak on in. So if in case you guys have missed this news, we did make a video slash showed up quite a bit of it. PlayStation Stars is coming out soon. The PlayStation Stars is PlayStation's new loyalty program, or as you guys may or may not have heard, it's coming out in a few weeks here in America. It's already came out in Asia, and so that's been, we have a little bit of information for that. We'll definitely do more of a deep dive, so make sure you guys are subscribed if you guys want info with it. But as of right now, they have the website up where they're like, hey, join the PlayStation's new loyalty program, earn rewards, and complete campaigns to unlock rare digital collectibles and also other things like PlayStation cards join for free. They do already have this up on the PlayStation uh, PlayStation Stars. If you guys just go and Google PlayStation Stars, you guys can end up on the website. They have the Join Now already a member. So basically, as you guys know, it's just what is PlayStation Stars? You join this, you use your gaming skills, you do like weekly challenges, play games, buy stuff, whatever it may be, and then you basically have a chance to go and, well, get a bunch of free stuff. Now, it's not like the best rewards program ever, but I'm on the mindset of anything free. I'm cool with that. So this is the big thing, is they enjoy exclusive PlayStation Stars benefits with PlayStation Plus. So PlayStation Plus members who also join PlayStation Stars will earn points with every eligible purchase made on PlayStation Stores. As I kind of keep on relating that too, it's kind of like the Nintendo, where you buy a Nintendo game for 60 bucks, you get like 300 like Mario coins, and that's like $3 off your next purchase. So it kind of like rewards you for spending it. The points you earn can be exchanged for PSN wallet funds to save or use in your next PS Store purchase exclusive collectibles for your PS app, and more. So basically just sign up, get the app, and then start the campaign with it. So what can you actually earn? You get the points, and you get collectibles, as you guys can probably just cover it over there. So you get like things like gift cards, etc., etc. So the one kind of big thing is, in case people are curious, is how you earn it. We'll get to some big stuff in a second. You basically complete monthly challenges, so you take part of activities and challenges laid down for PlayStation community, such as game in-game activities, online tournaments, or exploring your console features, like something like go to settings or whatever you may do. They have custom campaigns where you can unlock collectibles by completing custom campaigns designed just for you based on the games you like to play. So maybe you play a lot of Fortnite, it's like, hey, check out Apex, and you go get some coins for that. And as well, if you shop in the PlayStation Store, you earn points on eligible purchase on the PlayStation Store. So let's go and say you may go buy God of War, Ragnarok, you maybe get some points, you get to save those towards future deals as well. And you can either go and buy digital collectibles or get the PSN wallets. So this is kind of where it's getting to the new stuff here. Level up your PlayStation 5 star status. When joining PlayStation Stars, members begin at level 1. Level up to unlock new campaigns and rewards. So this is where the big thing is that they actually might have an actual secret fifth tier involved on this. So level one, you get that by you just join the PlayStation Stars, you start playing and completing campaigns. The benefits, you get access to digital collectibles by completing campaigns, and you basically get to get celebration collectibles. Level two, bought a one full game from PlayStation Store and then earned one uncommon trophy. Benefits, receive a level two celebration collectible and access to all collectibles from level one. Level three, you bought two full new games from PlayStation Store, earn 32 uncommon trophies. And you receive a level three coll celebration collectible and a birthday collectible. Did you not get a birthday collectible no matter what? Like, that's kind of lame. You only get one once, so like, we get that stuff like all the time. And they have a level four. Bought four full games from PlayStation Store, earned 128 trophies, and we receive a celebration collectible. Chat priority routing. They retain all collectibles from level one, two, and three. So this is not like the craziest thing with it, but then the craziest thing over there, and also thank you for following up on Twitch, on top of that, is there actually may have actually been elite now fifth membership tier. So Sony is currently rolling out the new loyalty reward service, as we just covered, and they've actually now announced the service has four levels, which we just showed you guys right here. 
and you can also basically go progress through them, get rewards, etc. However, now, according to some data leaks in the PlayStation Mobile app, there actually may have been a brand new now yet to reveal tier that includes the exclusive fifth tier of the service, accessible, intriguingly, only by invite. Maybe that's just like a placeholder for now, and then maybe they'll go and just release it for maybe more hardcore players, or maybe there's like a special event, maybe PlayStation Insiders, or maybe people who've been PS members for five years or something like that, whatever it may be, it does seem like there's also secret stuff. So the fifth tier is actually called the Diamond Tier, and has the requirements to reach it listed as invite only to Diamond level. If you reach this tier, you're rewarded with a legendary grade collectible called Level 5 Dorama which I can show you guys in a second, bots don't breathe with the description. Now, I was actually off my top of my head thinking like, what if this is just like, <laughs> they only give it to bots. So <laughs> basically like, you're like, we just know you're a bot and you get banned right afterwards. You get a collectible and then they go and yoink you off the platform. In an endless sea of stars, it seems like there's nowhere to hide, but you wouldn't be here if you let the challenges like that stop you. Welcome to level five. So they have a secret feature and secret thing over here for users. So graphics for the reward itself look like this. And then they also have a little video, too, as well for the animation, which is also kind of nifty. This kind of gives, I think, a good rough idea of, like, what we're expecting from the PlayStation stars. And it kind of almost gives me a, a little bit of the Smash vibes. If you guys remember, again, those little collectibles from playing Smash Bros. back in the day. And you spend the tokens, and you get, like, the Master Hand rewards and all that. But kind of cool to see these hidden things kind of being shown up here for the PlayStation itself. Now, it's kind of crazy because, as well... They're like, hey, what do you think the requirements are going to be? And I want to hear your thoughts because it's all like leaked and data mine stuff. It's kind of new. Uh, I would maybe say like if they're trying to push by games, maybe once you beat five games, maybe once you maybe buy 10, maybe like a year of PS Plus or a few years of PS Plus. Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm actually kind of curious. Although I don't think I'm too hardcore into this. I don't think I necessarily mind uh, the idea of like the levels and the tier systems and all of that. But in my mind, I'm like... When I was younger, maybe I'd care more, but nowadays I just like I just play games whenever I want to play games. I want to chill or I hang out on Twitch or make a YouTube video or view on it, whatever it might be. Uh, so I don't really mind too much. I'm kind of like, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is. But oh yeah, a lot of folks are kind of making me saying like you get rewards getting like Ape Escape and Bloodboard on PC too as well. On top of that, you get the sixth tier only for those who have beaten a platinum trophy for uh, you know for Bloodborne as well. And it's kind of still strange too. And I almost would want to make a separate video on this because this is like a big topic. I don't like the idea that they also get better customer service too as well for level four. And then like, I kind of agree. I don't know. Like this would probably be another separate video for me. I think this would be a good topic, but you guys can kind of chime in really quick. If you guys see another video on that one, definitely click on it because I'll definitely rant on it as well. Because I feel like as a consumer, you should always just have like the best customer service possible no matter what. So there is like, in, like this guess is another secret hidden feature as well, just to include on that one. Uh, but it's kind of crazy to see this because I think it's cool. Like, any bonus things, and more so the idea of getting some PS, net PSN cards and, like, incentivizing folks to, you know, want to play games, spend money on games, play tournaments, keep your multiplayer games alive, live service games alive, too. Because they could always work and play Bungie games, like, play Destiny and check out, like, get to level 5 and you get extra, maybe, like, a $5 PSN card. It's really good marketing, and I don't mind it. We'll just have to see how it is when it fully comes out, but brand new features with that. Now, a little kind of wind-down videos, too. There was actually a really nifty article over here. Uh, from Wired, talking about how like they made God of War Ragnarok and how they made it so excessive for pretty much everyone out here, which is always nice to see because that's a big thing that developers don't have to do. But at the same time, I've always been in the mindset of gaming should be for everyone, no matter what you have going on with your life or all that type of stuff, guy, girl, whatever. Uh, I think it's kind of cool. So they had some really nice remarks basically saying how they really wanted to go super in-depth, kind of how they did with Horizon Forbidden West, and make it that anyone who wants to play their games can play their games. And anyone who wants to enjoy themselves can enjoy themselves. And this is one of my biggest things, too, is they state stating, Our goal is to push the boundaries of accessibility in gaming and improve with each project. We will aim to continuously gather feedback and God of War Ragnarok's feature set of all like their you know, accessibility options and such and go from there. And I also, whenever they go and push and say we want to work with the community and plan this stuff on out to make sure it's all good, I love to see this. We also did have some pretty big leaks that apparently Rockstar is releasing Midnight Club uh, Los Angeles. Very intriguing to see this one, and I've always loved the Midnight Club games, and I feel like we always need a few more racing games at the end of the day. And as well, we also had some big Serious Sam leaks too as well coming out that it might be coming out in the near future for PS5 because it was rated. So give me your thoughts and comments on these brand new secret PS5 features coming out. Are you guys going to care about placing stars or not?
as well as make sure you guys are subscribed. Use the Twitter link down below for our brand new giveaway with Millennium. We have the Twitter and Twitch stream down below, Amazon links down below, Target links down below, and I appreciate you guys all so much for watching in the first place.